We're going to move to the next topic, and I came across something the other day that frankly shocked me. I saw a tweet from Warren Sharp that said the Browns have the fourth highest paid wide receiver room in all of football. <laughs> they are paying their wide receivers this year $39 million, the same price the Miami Dolphins are paying their wide receivers. And when you compare receiver room Dolphins to Browns, I think we'd all agree Miami probably gets a pretty significant edge in that margin considering Ooh, they have Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle. So let's start with this. It's a two-part question. We'll start with this. Are you shocked to learn the Browns have the fourth highest paid receiver room in football? And is this a receiver room that deserves to be one of the highest paid in football? I mean, it's listen, that they only gonna be there until uh, the Cincinnati have to cut them contracts. Um yeah. am I shocked? I'm shocked that they fourth. I am shocked by that because when you think about who we have, as I mean, Amari Cooper's the only guy like that. Yeah, if you guys want the breakdown real quick, Amari yeah. Cooper makes a significant Doesn't amount like of money. 20, He's making yeah. twenty four million essentially this year. Yeah, that's funny. Nobody else is making a lot of money. That's what I'm saying. So Cooper is one of the highest paid receivers in football. So that's what makes it like head scratching that they fourth. But I guess you know it was a crazy time last year because every team that has good wide receivers like their top elite. They might be paying one, but the other ones are on rookie deals. So it's kind of like right. Well, you look like Cincinnati, right? They're not on the list, but they got the best receiver score because two of their receivers is all rookie deals, right? Their two best receivers are rookies. Philadelphia is spending a lot on AJ Brown, but Devontae Smith is on, on a rookie, rookie deal. deal. Miami Tyree kills making a lot of money. Waddles on a rookie deal, yeah. but obviously I, I guess Tyree kill and Brown are making less than Amari Cooper this year, which yeah, how did that happen? They've signed more recently. That is part of the reason the Browns were able to get him for a fifth-round draft pick. Yeah, the, for the 49ers, uh, Brandon Ayuk's still on a rookie deal, isn't he? Yeah. Correct. Uh, Seattle, DK Metcalf, didn't he sign an extension or no? Him and a lot. He just signed an extension. Hey, how are they not? Who's number one? Who's one, two, and three again? Denver is number one. And who's the other two ahead of him? Las Vegas, who pays Devontae Adams, Adams a yeah. ton of money, and Tampa Bay with Godwin and Mike Evans. I mean, both I oh, so the Browns are fifth. Tied for fifth. Does Christian Kirk make the most money out of this? You said they were fourth, Mike. Mm-hmm. They're fifth. Tied for fifth with Miami. Oh, tied. For, my bad. Tied for fifth. They're fourth on the line. Does it matter if they're fifth or fourth? Essentially, it's still. Wait a minute. Did yeah. Calvin really still on a rookie deal? Y'all got to do something. I don't remember. Yeah, these rookie deals is absurd. These players, kind of, y'all got to at least get them down to, to three years of that option. Y'all on rookie deals to, to y'all 30. By the way, <laughs> by the way. Uh, still on the rookie, y'all ain't get no money. Now, I don't agree with this, but Pro Football Focus <laughs> ranked the Browns as the 22nd best wide receiving group. Hey. I disagree with that as well. I think they're too low. Well, hold on. I, I, hold on. Like, like we look, I don't, I'm, if you look at that, can we put that list up for, for the money? I mean, the, put the money. Can we put that list? And you want the money? No. Nope. Yeah, where, where, where it breaks the down. The only uh, one that's guaranteed. No, no the one that the, Brian, the, the rookie, the wide receiver breakdown. Right, yeah, that, right yeah, there. Yeah. Okay, then go ahead and talk to him. The only one that's guaranteed that we know is good is, is, Amari, is, Cooper. is Amari Cooper. The, the rest, rest of, of them is all we think. We think. J- Jakeem Grant <laughs> might not make the squad. <laughs> Uh, Schwartz, Schwartz might, not might make the squad. squad. You got uh, Moore, who just got let go by the Jets because they didn't think he was do- they that real. They traded. Well, they, they traded, him, but, but that means they didn't want him. True. And DPJ Everybody is, got a DPJ price, DPJ's a nice player. He's a nice player. Yeah. Oh, so uh, see- this screams mid-20s to me. <laughs> Yeah, well, okay, well, let's look at the list. I would here. say me, about 20. 20. About 20. And just, just to fill out, there's only five slots in the graphic, but David Bell's making 1.3. Tillman's getting a million. I don't know what neither one of them doing. I, they, those guys third round I picks. Need David Bell, but I need him to have a good preseason. How? I, I just, because I, I, it's because he's a big team kid. And I watched him in college. He was I'm great. I'm going to give you the teams that are ahead of them. Tell me if the Browns are better. Okay. So the Browns are 22nd. I don't know if I said 23rd, but they're 22nd. You said 22nd. You said, yeah. Okay. And 21 is the Saints. Yo. You got Michael Thomas, who's been great, but he's hurt all the mm, time. Okay. And Chris Olave. Okay. Their number three receiver is Rashid Shahid. He has some decent He's moments. pretty good at it. I'm going to say he has yeah, some moments. All right. I like Chris Olave is better so than you're DPJ. taking the Saints. Yeah, I'll take no, the Saints. but Chris, if, it's Chris Olave versus Amari Cooper. No, I think no, we'd no. all rather have Olave. 
No, it's Mike. It's a healthy Mike Thomas versus Amari okay. Cooper. Okay, if I if I had to look, if, okay, then then yeah, I agree I, with I, you. Okay. All right, number twenty, the Jets. Garrett Wilson, Alan Lazard, McCole Hardman. The only one I respect is Garrett. I like McCole Hardman. I, I I would say that the Browns is man, that's tough. But bro. you'd rather ha- now. This is not completely fair because it's but, you would, but you would but you would rather, rather have, have Garrett, Garrett Wilson, Wilson than Amari right? Cooper. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, not even. Cool. So now I gotta right. take. <laughs> yeah. I right, keep going. Nineteen. The Washington Commanders. They stack. They should be higher. They I'm about to say they McLaurin, stack. Stud. Curtis, Jahan Dotson. Stud and Curtis Samuel. Jahan Dotson's a stud. Yeah, he is. Are like you serious? Him, I like him better than Pete. <laughs> and Curtis Samuel. All I like, of them. I like him better. I like them. Every last one of them is nice. I think they're actually including tight ends in this, are they? I, I are don't Logan know. Thomas is decent. Yeah, they are including tight ends. So even including Njoku, they're 22nd. All right, 18, Pittsburgh. Deontay Johnson, George Pickens. Yes. <laughs> Allen Robinson is completely shot. He's done, but yeah. but I he like might, that. He they, might got, be. they got nice tight ends. They got that monster, that monster from Georgia, and they got a couple other. Uh, the guy still got fire booth. Yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah. 17, man. the Broncos. Corlin Sutton, Jerry, Judy, Tim Patrick. I don't like. I, Sutton I like, and Judy I like, is okay. They, I think they. I take the Browns over there. I, 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 I think yeah, I, take I take the, the Browns, Browns actually. Because I think Sutton is DPJ. I would go with the Browns over. I would actually go with the Browns over Washington and Denver for me. Nah, just Denver for me. Every, all, all the ones uh, this care. one I don't. Uh, Sixteen is Jacksonville. They've got Calvin Ridley, Christian Kirk, Evan Engram, and Zay Jones. Yes, Christian Kirk had a. We all made fun of that contract, but he had a hell of a year. I, could, say, I told y'all, nice y'all I could year too. I told y'all, y'all I couldn't Calvin, say nothing. We don't know what. What Calvin, is Calvin Ridley right now? I, I don't know that we know. I mean, but yeah. he's a giant question mark. But I mean, he didn't. You'd did, love to have him. He didn't get injured. <laughs> all he did is gamble and post it up. Right. Like he wasn't out. Like I mean, he and he did uh, what 14, 1,300 yards. You told me he had fourteen hundred yards two yeah. years ago. Now oh. Baltimore's fifteen. Again, I disagree with well, that. Well, they're including tight end. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's, okay. it's the pass-catching yeah, group. Not I just, like that. Not just wide receiver room. It's pass-catching group. I still I still disagree with that. Their receivers on the outside, listen, I think Zay Flowers has a chance to be a pretty good player. Mm-hmm. He was their first-round pick this year. Bateman we've seen flashes from, but he can't stay healthy. And OBJ is a giant question mark. Like They have yeah. three question marks and but one again, solid. The Browns have all question marks. Except for Amari. Their question marks are smaller than Baltimore's question marks. No, it ain't because if Baltimore stay healthy, they all productive. If, if OBJ is – Well, if, I don't, we don't know about if, Zay Flowers if, or Rashad if, Bateman. Oh, so, if you take a look at the young guys, I would take Zay Flowers over any of our young dudes. Yes. Who are you on? What are you talking about? Oh, we, we mean young dudes. On the Browns. On the Browns. Are you, are, you, are you including Elijah Moore? Of course. Yeah. I gotta yeah. see. It. I gotta see it first. I, I, I okay. I, we gotta see fair. it from both of them first. I gotta see it first. But, but if you take, if you tell me, who would you, if you say OBJ is healthy, who would you say? Oh, I'm taking uh, past I'm, Amari Cooper. Has that right? Upside. But I'm taking Amari Cooper over Odell. Well, no, I'm just saying. I, yeah. I, I, I'm other than that's the premise. What I'm Wait saying is Amari Wait. Cooper is is solid. Everybody else is a question mark. Yeah. We solid. We and but, that's why sometimes it's hard for me. To sit here and be like, "Oh, we good without DeAndre Hopkins." I'm like, "Not really, bro. Like, not. I mean, we could get better. Don't get it twisted. These yeah. guys is nice, but um, I need. I thought yeah. we could always use another piece." The Rams are 14, which as good as Cooper Cup is, he's coming off an injury. He's older, yeah, I don't and they don't have anybody else. Oh, I so said, who the second receiver? Is? Their Skoranek. number two receiver is Van Jefferson. He's not. Any- <laughs> I, mean, I take he? the Browns over that. Hey, uh, don't we work for CNN? Nah, Cooper Cup is <laughs> Van Jefferson. We talking about the Triple Crown winner, Cooper Cup? Yeah, he coming off an injury. That was two years ago. I know. But Listen, I Cooper Cup's great, and he should bounce let back. But you, they got nobody else. So let me ask you this question. Yeah. He there in the first round of fantasy. You taking him? Uh, late in the first round, maybe. Okay. I mean, I'd rather have him than Amari Cooper, but I don't like you, anybody else. You had him last year. You, this you I don't get at all. And if he was still healthy, it I would have won. He team once he got hurt. Yeah. Yeah. This I is mean, what I don't get at all. Like 30 How are the Bears in 12? At 12. They got DJ Moore in the trade, but I don't know who. Chase Claypool, Chase DJ Claypool Moore. Chase Claypool sucks. Like, yeah, Darnell Cole, Mooney Cole did Cole nothing. Cole at tight end. Darnell I, I disagree Mooney with that is one underrated. He's actually What's he done? He's a pretty good receiver. 
Nah, he. Nah, I tell you what, they dropped. I disagree. Some, they dropped some balls. I even think DJ like, Moore's a little overrated. I do too. I personally. think he's a great number two. He's I'm good. Not sure he's he's really one. good. I don't know. I think I don't understand why the Bears are that high. It, it, Some of these other teams, at least, they're t- I get where their tight end brings them up. What's funny is none of those teams on the most expensive list are, are that high, except for the uh, the Cowboys are six. Anyway, eleven was Kansas City. They got Kelsey, but not much else. Ten's Tampa Bay. Nine Buffalo. Eight Vegas. Who's on the list? Seven yep. Minnesota. Six Dallas. Right. Five Seattle. Four San Francisco. Three Miami. Two Philly, and one Cincinnati. So I guess the question with this is: obviously the Browns are paying a lot to their their wide receiver room. Tied for fifth with yeah. Miami, not fourth. My apologies, fifth. Do you need elite wide receivers to win a Super Bowl? Yes. No, I don't think so. Yes. Uh, I, I think. Elite, uh, the Browns don't have an elite wide receiver. I don't think Amari Cooper's elite. So, uh, I don't think you need an elite wide receiver to win a Super Bowl. It, not if the quarterback's good enough. Are you kidding me? Who's won it every la- for the past? Well, what? the Chiefs didn't have an elite wide receiver. They got an elite pass catcher. Okay. Stop it. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Do not do that. They got one. Yeah. Might, they might you be know the most elite of all Don't time. do that. He literally yeah, killed like him. He kills. Uh, okay, so you had, uh, the year before, you had Cooper Cup. Mm-hmm. The year before that, Tom Brady. You had, well, but you had uh, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Chris Godwin, and Chris Godwin. The answer is yes. So then you're saying the Browns can't win the Super Bowl? No, you. That's can, not what I said. I said you can win the Super if you ain't got an elite receiver. If you got two damn good receivers, you can win. And, and what I mean by two good ones, like. Like, yeah, if you got, like, let me see, Plaxico Burris and uh, what's, the, uh, oh, uh, what's the other uh, the other dude on the other side to play with Plaxico? Uh, Mario uh, Manny Tumor. Manny, oh, uh, oh, Manny Manny Mario Manny. Uh, Victor Cruz. They had Victor Cruz. Yeah. Um, and then they got the, no, um, Hicks. Hakeem Hicks. Or Hakeem, Hakeem Nicks. Hakeem Nicks. Yeah, like, if he you got. He was great for a moment. Yeah, he was. If you got two solid ones, you know what I'm saying, you, you got two good ones. David like Tyree. Like you, you know, you look at the Steelers. They was had, Julian Edelman a uh, elite? No, yeah, uh, Ju- no, Julian Edelman. Listen, <laughs> Julie, hey, don't Come get on. it twisted. Ju- no. But you know who was no, elite? No, no, Julian Edelman. Tom Brady. No, no. Julian. Damn it, yeah, Rob Gronkowski. <laughs> Julian Edelman. That's Julian true. Edelman for about a year or two was what Cooper Cup was doing, low key. No, no. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's blasphemy. No, no, no. no, no, that's no. Blasphemy. I said low key. Blasphemy. I said, I said uh, low key. Cut it out. I cut said, it out. I said JV. That's crazy. But he was open every play. <laughs> Julian Edelman was a he's a Super Bowl MVP. He, he played with Tom Brady and he had his piece <laughs> I clutch. can't believe he's well, a can't Super Bowl MVP. Cooper Cup. I Come can't on believe now. he just said that. Edelman was getting it. Oh, in a my lot. goodness. You guys is hating, man. This Julian Julia Edelman was that dude. Okay. He had, he had a You're great catch. He had a very – He's historic, gone off the deep end. Yeah, he did with that one. That man, man said, look, bro, it ain't that crazy, He said that that man was Cooper Cup. For a year or two, that man was not playing with y'all. The triple crown winner. Listen, I say – All right, the so last team, in my opinion, to win a Super Bowl without an elite pass catcher <laughs> was the Eagles. To uh, Not last – not the, the last – The Eagles won us – when they oh I guess they did With Nick Foles of all <laughs> yeah but they did they didn't have an elite pass catcher I don't even know who they, they had have Brandon offense. Cooks but he was he got knocked out the game uh but he's not elite he's he's like Amari Cooper very good but not elite they had Zach Ertz was their tight end very good but not elite I don't know how to won I don't know how to win With Nick Foles Nick Foles played I, out of his mind I don't understand it I don't <laughs> it I don't still I, makes no sense I don't know who they had on their team I don't understand how they won period and it was not even that close if you look at the last four years um, so one one out of when did they win that Super Bowl Nine, five eight? years ago so five one out of five yeah I, I think I'm gonna get the elite uh, the see. Niners when they lost the Super Bowl to the Chiefs, did not. Oh, they had George Kittle. Yep. So, what's interesting is if you look at the last four years, the eight teams in the Super Bowl had at least one elite pass catcher. Last year, you had obviously Kelsey with the Chiefs, mm-hmm. and you had AJ Brown with the with the Eagles. Mm-hmm. The year before that, you had Cooper Cup with the Rams and the Bengals, and oh. Jamar Chase with the Bengals. Oh, mm-hmm. um, 
the Tampa year, Bay the year before that was Tampa with Godwin and Evans. What did they do? And they had Gronkowski. They oh, won. they beat the Chiefs. And they Chiefs. beat the Chiefs, yeah. who had Kelsey. All right. Gronk, Because he, he threw Gronk. He threw him to do. I, but he wasn't at that elite. point, he wasn't elite, elite anymore. Yeah. That's why Will Field threw Tyreek. And, and then the year before that, <laughs> Kansas City beat San Francisco. San Francisco had Kittle, and Kansas City had Tyreek Hill and, and Kelsey. Kelsey. But then this 49ers still had, what's his name? Debo Samuel. He when he, as a, yeah, he was a rookie. He was a rookie that year. He wasn't elite as a rookie, though. He was pretty good. He was good, yeah. but he wasn't yeah, he wasn't get... elite as a rookie. But you have about 10, 11 elite pass catchers on the last four Super Bowls between the two teams. So I think so, we so are you're... trending. I think back in the day, you definitely did not need an elite. No, he's running the ball. But it's getting to the point now. Now, I, I think Amari Cooper, to me, is close enough to that level that if Deshaun Watson plays like Houston Deshaun and the defense is significantly improved, that I think the Browns could Steve, win a Super Bowl Steve without Steve wants y'all to know that the Eagles had all Alshon Jeffrey. He wasn't elite. I don't think he was elite either. No, he was just no. big. Give me some, give me some, just, no, hold on. Let me just, that's that's what he's oh, he texting. Let me, let me, let me get, my, hey, Jeffrey. let's get in the main frame. Let's get into the oh, Alshon. I, he was, he was uh, He's a nice player. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, look, Steve. Well, me. we say all that to say <laughs> that they might and need to explore look, the DeAndre with, Hopkins trade. If you look at the the the, the biggest or a sign, I look at the teams that let's look at the six teams that we think are the are the near locks or locks to make the playoffs, right? Kansas City's got Kelsey. Cincinnati's got, Cincinnati's got Tyree Chase. Buffalo's got Stefan Diggs. Right. Uh, San Francisco has T- Debo and, and Kittle. Kittle. Uh, who else did we say? Uh, Philadelphia's got AJ Brown and, and, and Devontae Smith. Smith. But if we can include Devontae Smith, we got to include T. Higgins too. Yeah. Uh, and who was the last team? We I played? said Jacksonville. Now, does Jacksonville have an elite pass catcher? I don't think they no. Do. <laughs> They're kind of comparable to the Browns, low key. A little bit, but I was still edge because Zay Jones had a nice year last year. I, I like what they're doing. Well, the Jacksonville Jack Calvin Ridley could be elite. Well, it, ain't, it ain't that many elite no, no receivers no, no. in the league. So and, let's... and Amari Cooper is right under that line. So yeah. I think you can win with a guy right under that line. Seahawks, but... Seahawks got a couple. DK Who is Metcalf I don't think Lockett's elite. Think, I don't. I think Lock DK gets, is elite. I think he is. I think I he's the bottom so. of elite. I've watched that man get yeah. shut down. I don't understand how y'all think that's elite. Well, even great wide receivers get shut down once in a while. It uh, happens. Oh, Jamar Chase got he shut down? A, yeah, against the Browns a couple years ago. They shut him down. What about Justin Jefferson? I'm, I'm sure he's had a game or two. DK's been in the league longer than those guys, to be fair. He had a quiet year. I me. mean, I DK mean, had a quiet year. They, you know, they Tyler, the whole they year. I, I didn't really hear a lot from DK. They don't have a great Tyler Lockett had a thousand yards the last four years. The last four. Yeah, now, D, DK Metcalf. Yeah, look, please let me know it because maybe he did. I didn't hear nothing about him last year. I, I, after he got smoked by them track dudes, I ain't heard what happened to that boy. <laughs> he had a bad, no, he, he did okay, but I mean. Did he have a thousand? He had a thousand, okay. 90 catches. How many games touchdowns. did he play? Um, how many touchdowns? Six. That's pretty good. Um, how many games he play? Um, I just feel like I didn't hear. He played, he played, uh, he played 17 games. He only had a thousand yards. Only had the, the year before, and then only had thousand what? Thousand ninety? Thousand forty? I guess we can't call him elite. I think you're right. But he had ninety. I'm him out of the elite. Is group. ninety catches? Uh, you got to have a hundred. I don't know. Where is the the elite dividing line? You you got twelve this, five, twelve. Here's, five, here's, here's yards. what you should do, Bull. Yeah. This year you got the spreadsheets because they added more games. I think yeah. you should come up with the new benchmarks. For oh, what's good? Well, to me, it's twelve hundred. Because so, now you're playing seventeen. But games. even that's not elite. That's, I don't think. I think to you, me, twelve hundred is the new one thousand. Yeah, kind of. And, yeah. and I to mean, me, fourteen hundreds when you get uh, to elite. Yeah, fourteen hundreds. Like if you talk about receptions, <laughs> like ninety receptions. Like I, Justin, <laughs> Justin Jefferson at eighteen hundred. Tyreek has seventeen. Devontae eight, had fifteen. Yeah, eighteen hundred. Yeah, yeah, eighteen hundred. AJ Brown had fourteen ninety six. Diggs had fourteen twenty nine. CD Lamb had thirteen fifty nine. Jalen Waddle had thirteen fifty six. Travis Kelsey had thirteen thirty eight. Devontae Smith had eleven ninety six. 
Terry McLaurin had 1191. Amon Ross St. Brown had 1161. Amari Cooper had 1160. Yeah. Like, these are like, them is a thousand now. That's a thousand. Yeah. To me, so that's why I said, like, elite ago. to me is like, it's got to be like at least 1,300 yards. Yeah, like, that's crazy. Least, maybe 14. 14. <laughs> maybe 14. Yeah. I, I think, and Chase is not on the list because he missed like four or five games last year. But, uh, and I had him too. It's crazy. Yeah. To me, yeah, I think there's only like eight. I think there's like eight elite wide receivers. So I don't think you have to have one of the, you know, and then there's like three elite tight ends, Devontae right? Kittle, Adams Kelsey. Adams had 14 touchdowns. Yeah, that's crazy. God, and they sucked. God. But they sucked. I didn't know Justin Jefferson had that many. 1800, 1809. He's unreal. Unreal. And he How had, is he? had eight touchdowns. How is he? Like, I don't get it, bro. I don't understand. How do you have, well, they didn't lose. <laughs> I was like, how did LSU not lose? Oh, they didn't. Don't worry about yeah. it. They beat the brakes off everyone that year, and I told you guys I mean, the story. But... Has there ever been a better collection of skill position talent than that team? Well, no. it was that team, and then the next year's Alabama team. What was that team? That was, well, this year, Mac Jones, Devonta Smith, Najee Harris, their other receiver. Was it? Talk about it was Waddle. Ohio State? Jalen Waddle. What year are you talking? Are you really comparing Mac Jones to Joe Burrow? <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. Well, I mean, just like in terms of the points per game they put up yeah, in the who season. Cares? You're talking about just like how they so, translated to the NFL. Yeah, I mean, so there's it, no comparison. So now, if Deshaun Watson goes yeah. back to prime Deshaun Watson, Cooper, uh, Mark Cooper's getting 13 or 14. Yeah, he should. Elijah I mean, he Moore, had 1191. Elijah, I mean, Elijah Moore has to be booked. If he's elite, Elijah Moore is booked 4,000. To me, Book to him. me, Amari Cooper is somewhere between the 10th and 15th best wide receiver in the league. I think you can win with that. Now, do I like them better with DeAndre yards. Hopkins? Yes. Do I want them to have a second wide receiver that you know is good? Yes, I think we all so do. So DPJ but. can get 1,000. So we should have, we can have 3,000-yard receiver. I doubt it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess so who, we could. So who's the eye man? I DPJ. <laughs> yeah. So, so they, you say three what, people get a thousand? What if? What That's if? That's never happened in NFL. So season. let me ask you this: What if they did actually, get D Hop? Could that happen? Actually, it has happened. I think the Arizona Cardinals were under Kurt Warner had three receivers that had a thousand yards. I. It's never Isaac happened. Isaac Bruce Torrey. I don't Holt. think so. Hold on. Isaac Arizona, Bruce Torrey. Arizona, Arizona, look, Arizona Cardinals had Larry Fitzgerald uh, and Quan Bolton, Bolton. I and I believe uh, it was uh, the kid uh, from Michigan. What's his name? Steve Breston. In 1980, the <laughs> San Diego Chargers did it. Okay. In what year? 1980, John Jefferson. Charlie Joyner. Charlie Joyner and Kellen Winslow. Tight end. Uh, 1980, so it has happened, and you're right. The Cardinals did. It's happened four times before. Uh, in 89, the Redskins, Art Monk, Gary Clark, and Ricky Sanders. Mm-hmm. 2014, Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne, and your guy, Bowl. Brandon Stokely. Brandon Stokely. And in 2018, Larry Fitz, Bolden, and do you remember the last guy? Steve Breston. I said Steve Breston. Steve Breston. Oh, wow. Steve that, Breston. That, that, was, that was one of the greatest pools Who, of all was Kurt time. Warner, was it Kurt Warner, the quarterback? That was impressive. Kurt yeah, Warner was like the quarterback. Steve Breston. Shout out to And you me. said that was in 2014? 18. No, 20, 2008, 2008. Oh, 2008. Yeah. Can I, uh, the Browns, if they got D-Hop, could they realistically do that? No. No, I don't think so. I, well, well, I guess, well, it's because you got Nick Chubb. Well, no, but I guess no, they had I Marshall thought, Fried, I had thought they? the Bengals did it in 2021, but uh, Tyler Boyd had 828 I, yards. It, and it's not because they don't have the talent because of this. Let me ask you a question. Do we all see, we can all sit here and say right now that they're going to have a different playbook, right? They're going to throw the ball. Who, the Browns? Yeah, they're going to throw the ball a little more, right? Yeah. But can you foresee Kevin Stefanski ever really pouring the gravy on people? Can you ever see him no, just popping people but off? And they're going to run a lot. Like, <laughs> like, whoa, I think they're going to run whoa, a lot. Like, yeah, watch your they mouth. With yeah, yeah. Yeah. You need to watch your mouth. <laughs> you need to watch your mouth. always in the – You need to watch your day, filthy mouth. Hey, these guys is not going to actually – be running the score up like if it's if it's yeah. like why not though? But that's true. I feel like the smart play <laughs> is if not? you're up to run the ball with Nick Chubb. You know that's you true. Leap back, <coughs> which I, you would think that that's how he's gonna but, get his money anyway. But and plus, I think I, I do think if if you had Hopkins, that Amari Cooper and Hopkins are gonna get that's such a, a large share of oh, the yeah. targets. I mean, why I wouldn't even to be truthful. 
it'd be hard pressed to even look another right. way. Because like I'm just going. Plus, that I way. just think with the other guys they're gonna, between Elijah Moore, DPJ, Najoku, you know, and maybe the what's his name, the rookie. I just drawn a Tillman. What's Tillman. That? Tillman. Tillman. Like they'll, those guys will be all in the mix a little bit, but I don't think any of them will necessarily yeah. get it. I so, think I think without um, <laughs> Hopkins, I think there's an outside shot Elijah Moore gets a thousand yards. Can, there's a chance. Can yeah. Njoku get a thousand? Uh, and I that would be two. Like I said, it's only happened four times in NFL history yeah. with trios of a thousand. It's only happened eleven times in NFL history. Yards trios there. of nine hundred. So it's very uncommon to have three guys put up numbers because it involves right. staying healthy. It involves enough targets, enough yards, enough passing. Right.